Hey guys, how's it going? Capran here. So we just had the release of the second week of One Night in Karazhan, and I want to talk about that and show you guys a few of my moments in the adventures. So uh, generally this week was a little bit of a disappointment because the adventure was just ridiculous ridiculously easy compared to anything we've seen in the past. But on the upside, I think uh, players who've played in the Karazhan raid instance in World of Warcraft hundreds of times like I have would really appreciate the nostalgic aspects of this week. It had to do with uh, uh, like the, the Opera House where just plays happen in the World of Warcraft version. You know, you can experience one of the three different plays and in the Adventure in White and Karazhan, you experience all of them. They're all really easy, so I'm not gonna go too in depth with the strategy, but basically in the first one, it's uh, Romulo and Juliet. And uh, basically uh, this guy makes the opponent, which is, uh, Ju oh, Julianne, uh, immune, so you have to kill him, and her hero power summons him. On uh, on normal, it costs four mana, so you just bring a deck that can do two damage very easily, and she burns four mana when you probably burn much less than that, no big deal. On heroic, it costs zero mana, and that can be a little bit of a challenge, but if you use, um, you know, a well-curved mid-range deck, or if you have, uh, you know, very powerful inspire minions, you can kind of crush her hero power pretty easily. Uh, uh, next up is the big bad wolf, and uh, his hero power is a passive, it's trembling, it makes all your guys, all your minions cost one mana, and uh, it's not, you know, it, it's not too descriptive in the hero power directly, but um, yes, your minions are 1-1, one, one, but they do get affected by buffs, there are, there are silenceable, so if you have like a, you know, a 12-12 deathwing, and uh, it's played for one mana, it's a 1-1, one, one, but then if you silence it, it becomes a 12-12. Um, effects that spawn minions, summon minions, or death route, anything like that, has the full minion value, so there's a lot of very powerful minions they can be using. If you're using the good ones, it's amazingly easy on normal difficulty, and on heroic, you can kind of figure it out. Even with a pretty bad deck, if you'll get lucky, you will beat this boss. And last up, it's like uh, the witch, I forget what it's called, it's like the crane or something. Whatever it is, there is an opponent on the other side and basically does nothing, tries to kill Dorothy, you have Dorothy on your side. So whatever minions you play on the left, get charged, whatever minions you play on the right, get taunt. So again, you want to play mostly small minions to manipulate the fact that, you know, small taunt minions are much harder to get rid of in larger numbers, and charge minions are very easily buffed with like, uh, you know, positional buff cards like Flame Tongue Totems, probably the best card for this encounter. Uh, I heard that on turn 8 on Heroic, she like, uh, you know, kills your whole board, and whenever Dorothy dies through any means, uh, you lose the game because the hero power of the witch is, you deal like 100 or 200 damage, you just lose, basically. But, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. It was just ridiculously easy. But regardless, there's still some fun to be had, and I wanted to show you guys this wing, as I have in the past, in the long chain of adventures that I've played in Hearthstone. So, hope you guys do enjoy the encounters, hope you guys enjoy the moments, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think we just need Peacekeeper, right? Just need Peacekeeper. Nothing scares me, except the mice. Reporting for duty. Avenge me. Okay. Uh, no peacekeeper yet. Does she always go second? I feel like I've never gone second in this match. I think that would make sense, so you don't get clobbered in the face immediately. Ok. 
Okay, free damage, I guess. He's gonna stunwalker me? Oh no! That's the devastating one. Okay, I got some buffs here finally. That's gonna help quite a bit. Can't afford to lose that guy. I need my doggy. Here's to my love. One day I'll be a real knight. I think I need a Murloc Knight to win. I have an answer. For justice. Women Reporting for duty. For the crusade. Okay. Dude's smarking pretty hard right now. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. Oh crap, I might not get this. Mostly betrayals that really screw me over now. Just don't kill a Murloc Knight. That's fine. Yeah, that's still fine. Kind of, maybe. Reporting for duty. The battle. One damage short. Join okay. Die. No, well, two, two HP is is still some. Oh 
guy. Okay. That's it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. I think. The battle. The battle. Reporting for duty. The battle. Yeah. Don't be Nothing fine. Justice. Nothing to worry about. Nice. Nothing at all. Here's to my love. Uh, what you want? Yeah. Hmm. Inspire. Inspire's good, you know. Pretty good. Reporting for duty. The battle. Reporting for duty. Here's to my love. What do you want? I can't believe it. Murloc Knight is like single handling this guy here. Oh, oh, okay. I think that's fine. I think we're, we're still fine. The battle! The battle! Still fine. Wait, whoa, 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 what? That doesn't really heal you. One day, I'll be a real knight. Damn, dude, that last turn was horrible. Full BM on here. All right, that was that was harder than I thought with an aggro deck. You kind of have to have some punch at the end, but fortunately, Murloc Knight is uh, is a good guy. All right, let's prepare some. Wow. Okay. Run, little guest, run! Look at your minions. See how they shrink before me. Yeah, dude, these minions are wicked small, bro. You're right. Seems good. Oh. 
I didn't quite realize things like death rattles and stuff worked as well as they did. I so love audience participation. <clears throat> run, little guest, run! <laughs> That sound is already annoying. Is that like GG? I'm not so sure I want to play that. Goblin, but oh. a grand show, even better than that ogre we chased around last week. Oh, I guess I did screw that up. No, it's fine. So it's only on play effects. Yeah. Very easy once you understand how it works. Probably shouldn't have kept the, the dragon hunt. It's really only good if I have buffs, which I don't have right now. So.
I'm confused. Major Domo Executive is downstairs. Shall I tell him he's arrived too soon? Yes, yes, the puns. Easy peasy. Finally, we're off to food. 